Welcome back to Real Extreme Fishing. Today we're down here at the creek. We're gonna try to fish for some native brown trout again. This is what we're gonna to use today. We're gonna to start it off today with is um, another product of Berkeley Gulp. This is the three inch black leech. So our, the plan is to tie it onto a um, either a 1 16th ounce jig head or a 1 32 ounce jig head. So stay tuned. Let's open these bad boys up. I did, like I said, I have fished with these previous, I think last year I did. Might have been earlier this year. I did pretty well with them. I'll link that video in the description. Different creek than this one I was fishing at that day. Oh, this, this is actually a 1 16th ounce, so we're going to be starting with that today. Show you how I rig these to the mouth, just like you would a regular gulp minnow. The body is different, but just like that, guys. All right, let's see if there's anything over here. I fished this creek once before. No fish down the creek. I did have one on, but he came off. Give it a shot. The air temperature is about 35 degrees today, this morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I might did fish this section. No bites here, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. It was roughly about a month ago. It's a nice little deep section, so you would think it would hold fish, but... Let's try over here. Over by the bridge. All right, we're coming up on the spot where I did hook into one. The only time I fished this part of the creek. Decent fish, it came off. So we're gonna try it again. There's really nothing down that way, so we're gonna try this section and then head back up the way we came under that bridge and go that way. All right, see you guys. The creek is real deep right here. When I say real deep, I mean like maybe four or five feet. Here's a plan. I'm going to walk up this way. I'm trying to stay back a little bit here. First leaf of the day. be the spot you would think they'd be because you have the moving water here right into the slack water. That's normally where the trout will hang out. Because they're waiting for a food source to come down, but they're not wanting my food source. Let's try right in the current. You would think there'd be fish there. If I was a fish, that's where I would be. All right, guys. Just looked on Google Maps. If I follow this down, maybe it looks about a half a mile, three quarter of a mile. There is a bend in this creek. 
not a lot of times that's where the fish will be. So we're gonna fish this a little bit, but it looks pretty shallow. And hopefully where that bend is, it's gonna be deeper. So let's hope so. Okay guys, I am seeing minnows in this section. So that, that's a good sign. There's a, you probably can't, you can't see them, but there's some right here. Right when I pulled up there, there were some here. They went under these rocks right here. So at least we know there's fish in this section. There's one right there scurrying over. In my last video too, guys, I did mention that my waders have a hole on each foot. I did mention that I did buy a pair of waterproof socks off Amazon. I have them on. So far my feet are dry and I'm waiting, so until I get them fixed, that's probably what I'm gonna do, so. Just a little tip for you guys that have waders that leak in the feet. Go get yourself a pair of waterproof socks. Okay guys, we're coming up to a calm section here on the creek. Hey, it looks like someone just down here left some pumpkins. Yeah, there's footprints, so people do fish this. That or they're just hanging out down here. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Super calm. Just not sure if it's overpressured, you know? Oh, this is looking super juicy here. Okay guys, we made it to the reservoir here. We're gonna try this real quick. I haven't been here in a while. I know there's perch in here. We tied on a little EPF. It's the bluegill color. Still got that 132 ounce moon jig tied on. Let's see if there's any. I'm sure they're gone deeper, but. There's fish, perch, first fish of the day. Figured it'd be perch here. It's the first perch, guys. Not a bad little perch. Let's let him go. Here he goes. There's another one. Another perch for your next cast. He's trying to get in the limbs. Late fall perch fishing. Can't beat it, guys. Man, these guys are feeding up, too. Hey, chill, bud. I'm going to let you go. You're not big enough to eat, so. But catch grandma, well, that's a different story. Perch number two, a little bit smaller, but not too, but these are freezing cold. See, pal?
Got a fish. Another perch. Perch number three. Smaller one. It's number three. A little perch here. Six inch or so. He goes. Got him on the Berkeley power bait. Three inch minnow I cut a little bit off to make about two and a half inch. There's another one, another perch. This one's even a little bit smaller. He doesn't want to open his mouth, so. Here he goes, two casts in a row. Got a fish. A young dinger. What do we got? Little four inch. Little perch. There he is, guys. Switched it up a little bit. I'll show you what we rigged this on. Dude, you have to open your mouth. First, I'll show you the fish. Little perch. See what we did here, guys. Just have a, I think this is a four inch. So it might be a three inch. Same moon jig head, 132 ounce. Just finesse fishing it here, guys. Trying different things. That was number five. There's a fish. Ah, oh, it came off. Perch had it. Got him. Perch here, guys. Number six. Chow. There he is, guys. See you, buddy. Second one on the Yum Dinger. All right, guys, that's going to do it. We caught like six perch today. The plan was we were going to do some trout fishing with gulp leeches, but that didn't work out at the creek. So, figure we'd come up here at the reservoir. Get on some perch. Caught them on a couple different baits today. But thanks, thanks again for watching, guys. And if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.